to talk about a game that's really close to me in Brendan's heart. It was it was a game that I played as a kid, and it's a game that Brendan played as a kid. I know I never really got that far because it was a really hard game, but I enjoyed it I, anyway. I got well. I mean, I I beat the the one way through. Yeah, I never beat it yeah, any I've way through. Done a couple of the others. Yeah. But it's the Saga games. Um, I'm speaking more specifically of the Saga Frontier game for PlayStation. Mm-hmm. But uh, the Saga games in general encapsulates a lot. Why don't you let us know a little bit about the Saga games, Brennan? All right, the Saga games, you know, from what I understand it, were essentially the series that um, that Squaresoft would use to experiment. Like, they would do a lot of different stuff. Like, we all know that in Final Fantasy, they, like they'd like to switch things up. Um, from game to game, sort of mechanics. Yeah, sure, right. And the stories don't necessarily relate uh, after the, after, other than a few little aspects. Saga games mm-hmm. were a little bit more wild. They were were trying out just like a completely new mechanic uh, of things. Like in Saga Frontier, they had um, the different storytelling stuff of you could play as one of eight main characters. Yeah, and that was the thing, because I, I would always get to a certain point <clears throat> with one of those main characters, and then be like, oh, I can't beat it past this point. It's too hard. Or I can't figure out what's going on. And I'd be like, okay, I'm going to restart as another character. <laughs> and I would run it. So I played a lot of the game. I just didn't get very far in any of their storylines. Yeah, but... um, they, they do incorporate into each other, because after you beat one, then you can play, and they have like similar stats when you encounter those characters. Because you can sometimes get the other main characters in your party. Sometimes you couldn't. Um, depending on the character, um, but the other thing was like the battle system was was strange. You would uh, every once in a while, depending on what you've been doing, you could learn a new move mid battle, and people could just learn the these moves um, from just random stuff. They also had the different types of character, like you had monster characters that would just turn into other monsters that you've encountered and things like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, the combat system was something that was very fluid. I especially remember the robot character would do that learning new moves all the time thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was one of my favorite things. Uh, one of my other favorite things about that was that you could be a superhero and he like you had his alias and then monsters would come and you had to go change into your superhero. So that was awesome too. Yeah, they, and they had like such a wide like you had the superhero character. You had just like a random guy that's like, "Hey, I want to go out and see the world." And I want a robot. adventure. <laughs> there was yeah, a robot, robot. Main character. There was like some supernatural main characters that were abducted by vampires or something. But anyway, but so that, that was Saga Frontier. Saga Frontier Two was very different. Had other mechanics, but it was also a very fun game. I thought um, the before that, there's the romancing sagas. They had a few of those, um, but all of them seemed they would jump around a lot. Um, and obviously, they had different like main arcs of, of versions of this series. They had the Romantic Saga ones, which had like one, two, three, I think a few more at some point. They had um, Saga Frontier. There was also Unlimited Saga, which I have Unlimited Saga. It that one's not very good. That was like a failed experiment because they did a lot of like weird stuff there. So, but whatever. But so that's it is, why it's it not is cool. exciting there. Yeah, it Go is cool to see one. in this day and age that maybe they're going to bring back some experimentation. Because our RPGs as a genre is kind of split up in two two ways. You have your JRPGs and you have your American RPGs. I, I love me a good JRPG, which are kind of molding a little bit more into American RPGs. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, JRPGs is kind of where you 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 run and run and running stop battle. Running, 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 stop battle. Not always random, but you can run into enemies on screen and stuff. American RPGs are more fluid. They're they're free flowing, running gun yeah, almost. Usually, or or more, they're usually more open in general. The story mm-hmm. is less linear. Um, in general, I mean, you have some of that cross like on, on both sides. Bioware but... is a huge American RPG. They they almost you can almost credit Bioware for inventing the American RPG genre almost Not with really. Basically. Old Republic. I'm going to cre- give them credit for it, Brendan. American RP- Brian, American RPGs were around longer than Japanese RPGs. No, I'm not going to give them credit. No, I'm not talking about Dungeons and Dragons type things. That, that was like the first stuff. <laughs> in, no, yes, no, I mean like was. in video game form too. They had those. And but I'm talking like, about popular video games. They had some popular. I'm not talking Ultima. about like Zork. Like the. Do you want to go Ultima. for it? Ultima. Okay, fine. Ultima. Yeah, I guess Ultima was open screen, and if you wanted to nitpick it, Zelda's almost like that. Well, that's, I mean, okay. It's more I mean, of an Zelda, adventure game, though. Yeah. I mean, the original, um, uh, what's it called? Um, like, Dragon Quest, which was huge in Japan, it was a simplified version of American RPGs. 
And then Final Fantasy was a simplified version of Dragon Quest. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. But, but yeah, I just I just like to see because I'm a big fan of both genres of RPGs, um, and, and I like to see some experimentation. Plus the whole thing where you, it's like here, pick a character, any character. It's like you're picking somebody out of a deck of cards. I, I always found that a lot of fun. So mm-hmm. I'm excited for the new saga, whether it's going to be a romancing saga or a saga frontier. I'm hoping for a saga frontier. That's what I'm yes. hoping for. Um, but hit us up, let us know. Are you excited to see this new series of games coming out? Uh, of course, comments down below. Where's my face? At where's my face on Twitter? Google Plus, Facebook. Always good ways getting a hold of us. <laughs> <laughs>